This is a list of characters featured in the Adult Swim animated television series Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Topic: <laughs> Main characters. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Master Shake. Voiced by Dana Snyder, Master Shake or simply Shake is a milkshake. He is often greedy, lazy, and cruel to everyone around him. At times, he is narcissistic and mostly idiotic. When the Aqua Teens solved crimes, Shake claimed to be the leader. His special powers are emitting charged blobs of pistachio milkshake from his straw and making any small object he throws to the ground explode, though the latter is not noticed by himself or other characters. According to one critic he is voiced, as always, with wonderful snarkiness by Dana Snyder. Topic. Frylock Voiced by Carey Means, Frylock is a floating box of French fries who has laser lenses, dental braces, and a beard. He is easily the show's smartest and straightest character. He is somewhat of a father figure to Meatwood and often saves Shake and Meatwood from danger. His special powers are levitation and various eye beams, both powered by a large blue jewel on his back. Topic. Meatwood Voiced by Dave Willis, Meatwood is a large meatball with only one tooth. He is very childlike and naive. Frylock tries to be a good father figure to Meatwood, but Shake often tortures and pranks Meatwood, although in many episodes, Meatwood manipulates Shake into causing harm to himself and others. His special powers are to take any shape he desires which, with few exceptions, are a hot dog and an igloo and mitosis. Topic. Karl Brutan and Adilevsky Voiced by Dave Willis, Karl Brutan and Adilevsky is the quick-tempered, sarcastic, vulgar neighbor of the Aquatines. Karl loves pornography, sports, his car, and junk food. He hates it when the Aquatines are in his pool or when they especially shake mess with his car. Topic. Supporting. Topic. Dr. Weird Voiced by C. Martin Croker, Dr. Weird is a mad scientist who lives in an abandoned mental asylum on the perpetually rainy Jersey Shore that shows up at the cold openings of the first two seasons. Dr. Weird did not appear on the show again until the eighth season, but some episodes have a picture of him and Frylock in Frylock's room. The movie explains that it was Dr. Weird who created the Aqua Teens for the purpose of watching them crash into a brick wall, but this idea never became a reality. But in the end's twist, Dr. Weird was revealed to have been created by Frylock. Topic. Steve Steve, also voiced by C. Martin Croker, is Dr. Weird's assistant. Red-haired, wearing a lab coat and science goggles, is normally pictured holding and staring at a test tube. Steve often becomes the victim of mishaps with Weird's experiments, many resulting in his death or some kind of negative reaction. <laughs> George Lowe George Lowe is a recurring character voiced by the voice actor with the same name who is best known for providing the voice of Space Ghost on Space Ghost Coast to Coast. George made his first appearance in Mail Order Bride as a wedding DJ. In the majority of his appearances he appears as a cop, although in Antenna he appears as himself. Topic. Recurring. Igninyekt and Ur Igninyekt, who is voiced by Dave Willis, and Ur, who is voiced by Matt Mayalaro, are two-dimensional aliens from the Moon, they are both the most popular and well-known Moonainites. Igninyekt is the taller, calmer, green leader and Ur is the shorter, quick-tempered, purple sidekick. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Oglethorpe and Emery. Oglethorpe, who is voiced by Andy Merrill, and Emery, who is voiced by Mike Schatz, are two spiked aliens from Pluto. Oglethorpe is the fat, orange, dumber, leader who resembles a slice of cheese and Emery is the green, smarter one who resembles a shred of lettuce, however, their master shake, clone, major shake, states the obvious fact that they're both really stupid. <laughs> MCP pants Voiced by MC Chris, MCP Pants is a criminally insane rapper who wears a shower cap and a diaper. He takes different forms a giant spider, a cow, a decrepit old man, among others in each appearance and is usually killed and sent to hell over and over again. His rap albums contain not so subliminal messages in order to get his fans just Meatwood, and Carl on one occasion to assist in his outlandish world domination schemes. Topic. Cybernetic Ghost of Christmas Past from the Future Voiced by Matt Maialaro, the Cybernetic Ghost of Christmas Past from the Future is a crazy robot that starts long, nonsensical stories with thousands of years ago. Topic. Dr. Wongberger Voiced by Tommy Blatcher, Dr. Wongberger is an insane alien scientist. He appears in the episodes, Dickisode, Creature from Plaque Lagoon, and Hands on a Hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Minor villains Alan, an alien who takes over the world and kills anyone who he finds to be acting immoral. Master Shake lies to and manipulates him to get him killed, saving the world. Bert Banana, David Cross, Tammy Tangerine, Kristen Schaal, and Mortimer Mango H. John Benjamin, a group of born-again Christian fruit who Frylock meets on MySpace. They try to convert the Aqua Teens to Christianity but eventually fall off the wagon themselves and start drinking again. They made cameos in A PE Christmas. An Aqua Teen Hunger Force spin-off series entitled Soul Quest Overdrive features characters inspired by them. Cube John Schnepp is obsessed with telling jokes and sharing his bumper sticker insight. Claims to be the Wisdom Cube, but is actually his cousin. In The Last One, he ends up in hell after dying of suffocation. He is also known as the Dumbusshedron. Dan Ned Hastings, a rain gutter salesman who won't leave till he makes a sale and strongly resembles the Grim Reaper. Dan sold gutters to the Aqua Teens and killed Carl. Dan's only appearance occurs in Grim Reaper Gutters. Drew Backer, Scott Adsit, a Wookiee who pretended to be a werewolf. He offered to cut the Aqua Teens' lawn if they helped him blow up the moon, but he ended up annoying Frylock very much. At one point in the episode, Drew Backer turned into a werewolf though this is later revealed to just be his Wookiee hair growing back, and killed Carl. He is later revealed to be a shaved Wookiee and a fan of Star Trek who plays in a Star Trek tribute band which was revealed by Frylock. Drewbacker's only appearance on the show was two and a half Star Wars out of five. DP and Skeeter aka Frat Aliens Pat and Oswalt two aliens who have blue-green skin and often seem intoxicated. DP keeps mentioning that his father owns an automobile dealership. In the episode, Frat Aliens where they are first introduced, DP admits he does not know his given name. He has claimed that DP stands for Donkey Puncher. They also appeared in the episode The Last One, where they are both killed and devoured by a female alien. However, they are featured in the 2007 video game Aqua Teen Hunger Force Zombie Ninja Pro Am. Freedom Cobra, Lance Reddick, a living tattoo of a cobra, Shake got to pick up chicks. It was the tattoo artist's cheapest tattoo and had to be installed during a lightning storm. It gives its wearer an appetite for human flesh. At first Shake managed to convince him to start off with Meatwade's dog Bobby which was originally Shake's dog before it started attack him in response to his abuse, but later ending up eating Carl, after Freedom Cobra suggested they eat Meatwade who Shake didn't want to eat out of fear of getting into trouble. 
Shake later told Frylock and meet with the truth after Frylock discovered Carl's hand. They took Shake to the doctor to get the tattoo surgically removed, but Freedom Cobra forced the doctor to cut off his hands so he and Shake could eat them. He also had the doctor give Shake plastic surgery apparently so no one can tell Shake's sad, after he's done eating them. It appears in the episode, Freedom Cobra. Gorgatron, a giant Mooninite who Igninyikt and Ur use as a villain in their video game to seek the Moon Master for protection from him. Only seen in Moon Master. Hand Banana Dave Willis, a yellow dog Frylock made for Meatwood using a software called Make Your Own Dog 1.0. Although nice and friendly to everyone else, he mind links with Carl and rapes him repeatedly throughout the episode. Hand Banana was made from radioactive waste and shakes hand and has a close resemblance to a banana, hence how he got his name. He has a non-speaking cameo in 100. He also appears in the Aqua Unit Patrol Squad 1 intro, as a leather jacket wearing thug fighting with Frylock. Happy Time Harry David Cross, a mean, cynical and depressed doll Frylock bought him for Meatwood due to his low price, only $3.99. His bad attitude affects all the Aqua teens especially Meatwood who after trying to play with him, adopts his cynical demeanor. Happy Time Harry suffers from alcoholism, cirrhosis, and a pill addiction. He is also suicidal, and when threatened by Master Shake and Frylock, begs them to put him out of his misery. He has a receding hairline and wears only a pair of boxes and little red dancing shoes. He has a retractable knife in place of his missing hand, which he claims his father gave him. He was thrown of a cliff by Master Shake at the end of Dumber Dolls, but was later killed by Frylock in The Last One. Hoppy Bunny Scott Adsit, a furry who wears a large pink bunny head with a crown on it. When Carl's new recorder started taking control of him, Hoppy Bunny ordered Carl to put on an elfish garb and play the recorder for the amusement of him and his fellow furries. In his day job, he's a surgeon. Inflatable Hitler Bill Hader Adolf Hitler in the form of a balloon, the result of an attempt to smuggle his Nazi memorabilia in a balloon placed in his rectum, the balloons pop killing him and fusing his soul into it. Frylock worked for him for a brief time, somewhat unaware of his identity, until he found out that Hitler planned to get rid of Jews with an army Iran Balans armed with the biological weapon Frylock designed to target Jews that he was having Frylock develop. Frylock and Master Shake try to pass off Balans filled with Shake's farts as the bio-weapon Frylock developed, but Hitler discovers their deception having converted Meatwood to the Jewish faith in order to test the weapon out on him and unleashes his balloon army on them, however Frylock defeats them easily by popping them with the sharp end of his fry. Hitler then tells his origin story before the Aqua Teens manage to convince him to stop hating the Jews when he found out Adam Sandler along several celebrities he liked is a Jew, causing him to accept the Jews, even hugging Jewish Meatwood. However, he is popped and killed by Frylock when he redirects his hatred from the Jews to gay people. His only appearance on the show was in Dare Inflatable Furrer. Insane O Flex, a transforming exercise machine created by Walter Mellon. In the feature film, Carl sits in it when it is still in the form of a normal exercise machine. After Carl sits down, the machine transforms into a monster that straps Carl to it, and forces him to do an innumerable amount of reps, leaving Carl with a gigantic, chiseled body. The Insano Flex creates havoc throughout the whole town. However its one weakness is horrible music through which it cannot feel rhythm. Master Shake destroys the Insano Flex by playing a horribly mediocre song called Nude Love from his new album. The Insano Flex is probably a girl, because it lays eggs. First appeared in the movie. Love Mummy Tom Clark, a mummy who demands expensive goods and threatens the Aqua Teens with a curse if they fail to comply. Eventually, Frylock discovers that the curse is simply a tactic to manipulate the Aqua Teens to do his bidding, and simply throws him out with the garbage. The Love Mummy also appears as a piece of junk in later episodes. His crown hat turns the lower half of anyone who wears it into a snake tail, as it did to Carl. Markula Matt Maialaro, the landlord of the Aqua Teens and Carl. He is a vampire. In the first couple of episodes of season 5, Markula had demons kidnap the Aqua Teens, because he refused to fix a gas leak, so they refused to pay for October's rent. 
In those episodes Carl received new neighbors that irritated Carl and, in the same breath, overjoyed Markula. Markula also has the power to mutate living things by biting them. Markula was eventually killed by Carl with a bottle of garlic champagne in the episode, Couple Skate, exclaiming, Open wide, jackass. He was 4,040 years old. In the very next episode, Ridiculous, Frylock said, Finally, I keep telling and telling our landlord, even though Markula was dead at the time. Somehow Markula survived, because he shows up in a season 8 episode in which he and a bunch of bats have a virus that affects Carl, but not Shake. Merle Andy Merrill and Flagen Scott Hilly two leprechauns plus one more named Dingle who trick people by sending spam emails to go to the park and stay in the rainbow, but in reality, they steal their valuables. They use a rainbow machine which they stole from Dr. Weird. The leader is dim-witted, while his partner is slightly more intelligent. The gender of the extra one is unknown and all he says are, feet, and no feet. They were killed trying to reach the moon in the last one, in an accident that also destroys the trees. Moth Monsterman H. John Benjamin, a moth created by Dr. Weird. He is infatuated with Master Shake's signal, and stalked the Aqua Teens with the hope that Master Shake would switch the signal back on. He looks like a giant moth. He wears brown pants and black shoes. He also appeared in The Last One. 100 Robert Smigel only appeared in the 100th episode special. 100 is a giant, mutant yellow 100, that destroyed the Aqua Teen's house and thus following them into the old Scooby Doo cartoon parody threatening to rape Shake's girlfriend. The pod, Bill Hadder, a live pod. He kept trying to replicate Shake, but Frylock stopped him every time. He's a big fan of Chickenfoot. In the end, the pod replicated Carl and Chickenfoot. His only appearance on the show was IAMAPOD. Randy the Astonishing Dave Willis, a yellow creature that is the Prince of Jupiter. Shake sold Meatwood to Randy's circus which becomes a flop when Shake does his act. He later shows up in The Last One, getting controlled by a spore, and getting a wig from a clown head. Romulox Todd Barry, a hipster that Shake accused of stealing his PDA, which actually belonged to Romulox. He appears in the episodes PDA and The Last One. Rubberman Don Kennedy, also known as Lance Potter or Lance, the duck made from used condoms, appearing in the episode Rubberman. Frylock created him out of the used condoms and needles left outside Carl's house by Crack Wars, and intended to use him as a duck-shaped mascot to promote safe sex. Instead, Meatwood uses Carl's lamp to bring him to life a La Frosty the Snowman, at which point they go on a crime spree. Eventually he was killed by Frylock with a flamethrower. Rudy, a giant baby who is worshipped as a god by the flightless birds of Death Island. He is encountered by the Aqua Teens in episode 90, Egg Ball, when they embark on an expedition to acquire more metallic eggs to use as balls for Master Shake's custom-built pinball machine. He later goes on a rampage and destroys his entire island, causing the flightless birds to speculate that he may be developmentally disabled. The trees, talking trees that tried to prove that Shake and Carl were guilty for dumping waste into the forest. The tree judge is voiced by Dave Willis, while the stenographer is voiced by Matt Mayalaro and the others are voiced by Jay Edwards, Jim Fortier, Ned Hastings, Nick Inkatanuwart, and Vishal Roney, while their court-appointed shrub lawyer assigned to the Aqua Teens is voiced by Dana Snyder. They were set on fire in The Last One. Turkatron Matt Mayalaro, a robotic turkey who was under the impression that he was actually the cybernetic ghost of Christmas past from the future, but he's actually a malfunctioning toy turkey, and there are hundreds of him. He also likes to start stories with, In the year of 9595. Walter Mellon Chris Catton, the father of the Aquatines. He wanted to use their saved income to build an exercise gym. He knew his plan would fail when he found out that they all live in the same house, which they rent. He is the creator of the Insane O'Flex and he produced three best-selling exercise videos which caused him to lose his job. First appeared in the movie. Not to be confused with the titular main character from the short-lived animated series of the same name that ran on the ABC Family Channel, now Freeform. Wayne. The Brain. 
McLean Seth MacFarlane, a super smart alien that wears grass on his head to cover his huge brain. He appears in a single episode where he competes with the Aqua Teens in a game of bar trivia. After winning a couple of times, he reveals that everything was an illusion he created with his mind in order to be cool. Willie Nelson Tom Sharpling, an onion with spider legs who lives in the Aqua Teens attic. At first Shake thought he was not scary so he tried to teach Willie to be scarier, until he learned that Willie kills people. He first appeared in The Shaving. He also appears in 100 and in Aqua Teen Hunger Force colon movie film for theaters when the roof is torn off by the insane O-Flex. Willie was named after the real-life country musician. The voice Isaac Hayes 3, a deep, menacing voice that tries to make people eat the broodwitch, an evil sandwich that is made of only the most evil ingredients. The voice threatens anyone of their doom should they finish eating the broodwitch. Later appeared in The Last One. Dr. Zord. John DiMaggio, an evil rabbit that switched bodies with Master Shake after both of them peeing in a wishing well as they stared at each other in the eyes. Dr. Zord was originally a rabbit Meatwood wanted. But Frylock wouldn't let him. So Master Shake decides to get it for him. But then Drive. Zord knocked out Master Shake and then they switched bodies. Dr. Zord died of a spider bite in Master Shake's body. Meatwood later died in a hamster body because a snake ate him. Topic. See also Aqua Teen Hunger Force List of Aqua Teen Hunger Force episodes Notes